If a woman did not desire your companionship during her prime, she will not value it in her decline. It is unwise to pursue an older woman who has lowered her standards as she secretly holds resentment towards you, regardless of what she claims. Outwardly, she dislikes the fact that you do not meet her expectations as a judge of worthiness. Consequently, she will make your life difficult, consciously or subconsciously sabotaging the relationship and causing ongoing pain. I've always wondered why some women seem to enjoy drama. I once had a female friend confess that drama in her relationships made her feel cared for by her partner. I say all women are gold diggers. Some are just better at hiding the shovel. You've done it a couple of times here by masking it under ambition, ambition. and time. Yeah. But in general, every girl has a shovel. Some just hide it. And they say, oh no, I want ambition and education. Some say, no, fuck that shit. I need you to make a million dollars a year. And they have it overtly. But the point is this. Women always care about your ability to create a future, make money, and have status. I think women sit here and try to lie and say it's about time or personality and how they feel. There's a bunch of nice homeless guys down, down the street right now. <laughs> Although illogical, it reveals a sense of entitlement and the belief that women should be fought for as if they were a queen. Unfortunately, such thinking can leave women aging and alone without a partner by their side. They are constantly on the lookout for a better option. The moment a man with more wealth, better looks, or a more charismatic personality pays attention to them, the woman by your side will leave you for him or resent you for lacking in those areas. In either case, you are held responsible for her discontent. During their prime years, women often engage with multiple partners instead of committing to one, and this ultimately limits their options. Once they realize this, they blame the men they pursued for their failure to find a life partner before their prime years come to an end. By that point, the available men are often disillusioned, having lost significant resources in divorce settlements or witnessing their friends' experiences. They understand that the woman they are with are not truly theirs, they are just taking their turn. Therefore, they are reluctant to risk their entire savings, assets, and income on a woman who has had many previous relationships. It always astounds me how some women try to rationalize being with someone as if they constantly need to convince themselves. Love, friendship, and genuine romantic feelings seem to have little to do with it. Materialism and hedonism often take precedence. The reality is that you should never pursue a woman in the present if she would not have considered you in the past. She will never love or respect you in the same way she did the men she actively chose you will find yourself putting in 10 times the effort for an inferior version of her. Disregard what she says, her actions are the true indicator. She seeks assistance, not love. Look, I have a kid. I used to be like that until I had my kid. Now that I have my kid, like I might be this, oh, I'm a boss bitch, da, da, da. but deep down in my heart, I would do absolutely anything to be at home and be like always with my child. There you go. But unfortunately, and I have can't. a man protect you. Stop acting like stop, stop leaving out the man part. Right. Yeah. Because for you to be home with your child, that means you got a man exactly. home with your yeah. and, I, and, you. and that's what I'm saying. Like he's right, and that shit's hard. Like, but unfortunately, since I'm by myself, I gotta hustle. You know. Yes. But I would do anything to have a man. Like that's what we say. That's exactly. God bless you. God bless you, you. God bless you, God bless you for you. telling the fucking truth. Yeah. Yeah. Older, successful women often find themselves unsatisfied with their lives despite society's narrative that being a single boss is fulfilling. However, the truth is quite different. The money they have spent on expensive possessions and lavish lifestyles does not bring them happiness. Although they may believe in the ideal of a strong and independent life, loneliness eventually sets in, leaving them feeling lost. As their female friends start having children and move away from the lie of independence, these women begin to feel isolated. Moreover, the realization that women over 35 face difficulties in conceiving adds to their unhappiness. They worry about the possibility of miscarriage, which only amplifies their sense of discontent. Consequently, they turn to coping mechanisms such as boxed wine and antidepressants, while investors profit from exploiting their distress, raking in millions of dollars. I understand that it may appear disheartening, but it is the reality of the situation. Furthermore, while dedicating long hours to work, she often squanders money on unnecessary purchases. This has resulted in her becoming another cog in the corporate machine, trapped in the cycle of work. The narrative of corporate greed ultimately leads to servitude, regardless of gender. 
the supposed liberation has actually led to being controlled by others, particularly men in the ruling class. Men who choose their own path do not impose their views on others, unlike modern feminism. Another issue prevalent in modern society is the emphasis on living an authentic, independent, and joyful life. However, many women find themselves living the single lifestyle for so long that they fail to realize they lack a support system. Modern older women resort to dating apps to find younger men. Consequently, they frequently rely on dating apps to discover a Prince Charming who can fulfill all their desires. If you have ever used a dating app, I'm sure you have encountered such individuals. They often follow a similar pattern and can have numerous victims. Instead of using that time for self-reflection and contemplating their life and future to make improvements, these women simply seek to have fun, dance in clubs, and engage with young, attractive men who lack long-term prospects. However, they eventually come to the realization that it was not truly worth it. These women now understand that they were seeking a kind-hearted person because all the overly eager men they were initially attracted to lacked faithfulness and stability. Consequently, they begin to seek out the good men whom they previously rejected because they did not possess tattoos or ride motorcycles. However, men in this category are either dating more fertile women or focused on achieving their goals as they pursue their own purpose. You expect men to pay, yeah. yet you do sex work. My issue is I don't give a like I can do sex work and I can expect men to pay. I'm still a human being yeah, wait, and I'm allowed to have preferences. Like, well, this is so sure. degrading. It's not. It's not degrading. Why does it's it just your problem is that I do sex work and that's not degrading. I didn't, like, you I didn't clearly... say that. Wait, I just don't get it. Why do you say? I like, said that. Um... Hold on. Just a point of clarification. I said that your problem is is that you expect men to pay yet you do sex work. What I'm trying to get at I, what I'm trying to get at is is you have a rather traditional stance on who should pay yet you are quite non-traditional. Okay, and my problem is that you expect girls to go halves on the first date and you're not even that attractive. <laughs> Additionally. These leftover women often have a strong desire to always be right. These successful but unhappy women are keenly aware of the constant confrontations between men and women. Sadly, marriage does not seem like a desirable option, and most men prefer to wait until the chaos subsides. It is a sensible and reasonable course of action until men overcome their drive to procreate and spread their seed. Men no longer feel the need to protect women because the government now fulfills that role. Similarly, men are no longer obligated to provide long-term resources since women are capable of independently acquiring food, fixing their houses, purchasing vehicles, and fully supporting themselves, including covering medical expenses, insurance, and utility bills. Men understand that we cannot openly discuss our preferences and standards, but that does not mean we do not have them. While compromise is inevitable in any relationship, it is typically the man who makes greater concessions. Women who realize these things late in life and subsequently regret their dating preferences during their younger years raise a significant red flag. It reflects a self-centered thought process, and these women rarely undergo core changes, leading to always being treated as second best. It is wise to avoid relationships with these women and all women altogether, and instead focus on personal growth, strength, health, and integrity, while making a positive impact on the world through our passions. What do you think? Tell us down in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe and activate the notifications bell. Remember to share and like the video, champs. Thank you for watching.